All right, episode two, Fort Snake, Skyrim mod development. Let's take a look and see what all's been done here. As you can see, we have our building is pretty much complete right there on the second floor. And we've got uh, a roof that we can access with a little bitty stockade of its own. We'll get to looking at that in a minute. First thing I did is I angled the dock a little more to the right. I still might angle it a little bit more. I think it's about 75 degrees now. 90 would be due north, which would be, I guess, right at the building. Uh, the light source that's here, I talked about that not being very bright. I did brighten it, and I increased the radius. You can do that with any light source in the creation kit. It's pretty easy. Just you can use keys to do that, or you can bring up its uh, data screen, information screen. Um... Right now, I don't have any mods. This is a COC character. So, the only mods I have are the unofficial patch and my conjuration mod because I wanted to have those spells handy just in case because they're fun. And Fort Snake. That's it. That's the only mod. So, I don't have any weather or ENB or anything that's going to do any uh, recoloring or retexturing. So, this is kind of a. Uh, Vanilla Skyrim, this is about as colorful as it gets out here. So, first things first, the stockade wall has been pulled, I guess, forward or south uh, quite a bit. It was sitting somewhere up around here, so I've moved it down quite a bit. And I did find a door, and I mentioned before that there was no door in the stockade kit. And I said, well, there is a section for doors, so I looked in there and... Surprise, surprise, there's a stockade door. So the only issue this one has right now is that it opens into the ground. So I could push the ground down a little bit there, or I could just flip this thing around 180 degrees so the doors open out. So I might just do that because uh, I don't want to lower the ground anymore. So I might just flip that thing around, but we've got us a door. And uh, what I was talking about before, and maybe I didn't clarify it enough, this uh, walkway here, which is like your parapet or ramparts or whatever you want to call them, I'm actually going to lower that a little bit, but that's going to run over to here, and I'm going to have some steps going up to another one and back down to normal size. And just the reason for that is if you are on horseback, then you can ride underneath it and I get you don't have to put anything over top of it then you don't have to worry about it but I want it to be able to uh, traverse the ramparts all the way around without having to climb down and climb back up that's the reason I wanted to have something going across here and if I have it at this height you won't be able to do it on horseback so we'll have to do something that goes up and over so I've changed out the floor piece here as you can see this way, uh, what did I have in here? A Windhelm piece, I think. It was a nice looking piece. I've used it before, but I changed it out for this one. I think it matches the rest of the architecture a little bit better, although it is a little bit brighter than the rest of it. And uh, the same Windhelm piece that was here, I had up on the floor here. I replaced that with this stockade piece. I think there's nine of them in there. And I did change the pillars, as you can see. Again, stockade pieces. And I've added some here in the middle and on that side and added that one and that one. And they actually extend up to there. There's actually multiple pieces here, but if they're stacked correctly, one on top of the other, it looks like one long uh, interrupted piece. And I put a few pieces along here. This doesn't need to be there. I'm going to add a few more. It doesn't need to be there, but it's there for, let's say architectural uh, I, don't, I don't know architectural correctness or something it doesn't need to be there but you would think something of this size it's gonna have some uh, it's gonna have some support beams in here so architectural integrity maybe not necessary but a little bit of realism so up here these floor pieces are really rough cut and uh, I kind of like that because this you know we are using uh, pieces from the shack kit 
that's what the the building is made from it matches the architecture of the stockade piece pretty well the floor is from the stockade kit but as you can see the the floor pieces uh, they're kind of rough cut and they have little gaps in them and I, I actually like that it's a very rough rustic kind of look to it and this these are the same shack pieces that are used on Anissa's cabin and probably the uh, alchemist shack out there in the rift now I have some railing pieces put in here this one obviously I haven't got that one set correctly but I have these railing pieces in here you can actually walk over these so they're not perfect well I did before okay well that's fine uh, you don't want to you don't want to be falling off of here not that you're gonna get hurt falling that far but I wish they were a little bit taller and I haven't found anything yet that is taller that'll that'll look good so but I'm gonna keep looking there may still be something I haven't yet discovered but this is the idea having a little walkway around the outside and in here like I said it's only gonna be a little bit bigger than Anissa's cabin and it's only a little bit bigger but I figured this is going to be big enough I mean, you know a, a bed a small fireplace with a fire a cooking pot uh, a few containers you know dresser wardrobe chest some other storage a couple of things on the walls you don't need a whole lot in here and there may even be room to put a followers bed in here for people that like to have followers I don't use them I, I appreciate what they do well I don't say I won't say I, I never use them I might use them on occasion but I prefer a conjuration a summons because they can help you out and then they go away and I find I don't know followers seem to they're kind of annoying to me sometimes if you're gonna be playing stealthy it's uh, very difficult to do that with the follower say well even ones that can sneak and have a high sneak skill often uh, if you're in combat they'll or if they think you're in combat they'll just jump up and charge ahead and well, you think then you're discovered and it just doesn't work so this is the rooftop um, I don't know if I'm gonna put anything up here maybe one brazier just so you can see it from a ways off but it's a nice view from up here I figured instead of having a normal rooftop to the building I'd put this on here so if there is a threat in the area we can fight it from up here with ranged weapons and magic if we uh, so choose I'm going to be adding uh, an extra defensive feature I think I mentioned that before I'm, uh, I'm not gonna go any more into it right now we'll have to wait and see what that's going to be I don't really know if I'm gonna be putting anything else up here like I said maybe one brazier just to have a little bit of, of light up here maybe uh, maybe something in the corner some tiki torches or something who knows So we've got a lot of cluttering that has to be done in here. Not a lot, though. We, we don't want to use uh, too much stuff. That's going to affect our FPS. And what I've been doing, sometimes I'm going in-game, I'm using my regular in-game character, which has a lot of texture mods and ENB and such. Uh, just seeing if there's any FPS loss, and so far so good. So I think the next thing I have uh, on the agenda is actually take a real close look at our stockade wall and decide if where I have it is where I want to keep it that side over there the east wall is very close to the cell border so I may actually pull this back a little bit to the west because when it comes to nav meshing I'm gonna have to remove the nav mesh from under the wall so things aren't trying to walk through the wall and uh, that's easy enough done but I want to leave a little strip of nav mesh in this cell so that it links with the nav mesh in the next cell it's a little complicated but it it's being able to do that is going to prevent any problems with the neighboring cell I can extend the stockade into the next cell I mean that's not a problem I'm just I'm just trying to avoid unnecessary issues and the same thing down here this is very close to I think the cell borders like right here we're right up close to it so I want to remove the nav mesh from under the wall but leave a little strip 
from this cell so that it remains linked up with the nav mesh from this cell and that just avoids any nav mesh problems so I'll take a close look at this and see if where the stockade wall is where I want it I think I'm gonna reposition this death bell and there's a canis root yeah right there I'm gonna reposition that one or just disable it and I gotta put in our walkway here to go all the way around so after uh, ensuring that the wall is where I want it then it's gonna be I think uh, these trees here have to be repositioned a little bit probably that one I'll take a look at some others maybe that one I've got several trees that are disabled I could actually bring some of them back but not but not until I've got the nav meshing and everything else done because they get in the way like you wouldn't believe I mean, I can be looking at this post right here and click on it if I want to move it and grab a tree and they're like wait what tree they have a huge hitbox in the creation kit and they get in the way all the time so usually what I do is double tap the one key if, uh, if I select a tree and that'll that will hide it it doesn't remove it it just it just hides it while I'm in the kit so it gets it out of my way temporarily um, okay so the wall we can start to position our crafting stations and uh, we can start cluttering the upper part I need to finish putting the railing around here and the top part I don't know I might leave that there as is that little uh, fake stockade wall there I need to put in a few more vertical posts I think just for again architectural realism especially where these stairs are because there's nothing under here and oh, there's not a whole lot more we can start uh, we can start putting stuff in here I'm gonna to have to nav mesh the interior of this but not until I have all the furniture in because I know I need to know where to nav mesh and where not you don't want to just nav mesh the whole area and then start dropping furniture around there again because if you have a follower or something they're gonna to try to walk through things because the nav mesh tells them they can they don't look at something and go oh look there's a rock there I'll go around it no they just see nav mesh and try to walk through stuff which is the same reason why I need to remove the nav mesh from under the wall uh, let's see yeah that's where that's what we have left so it's coming along pretty well this is according to my the vision in my mind's eye and what I sketched out on paper this is very 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 close to what I had envisioned it's the right size it's the right location um, I'm still not crazy about that the little stockade wall I have up on top it says that's that's just the uh, the stockade wall here it's the same piece I just reduced it to 25 percent of its normal size I'm still not crazy about it but at the same time it kind of fits the whole stockade thing but this is pretty much exactly what I was going for here so I'm pretty happy with how it looks at this point so that's going to do it for now thanks for watching take it easy and I will see you in part three of the Skyrim mod development of Fort Snake